Hello, my friends. Kurt Berglund with you with my Monday baseball book review. That's right. Every Monday at 10 a.m. Central, I review a book about baseball. Could be fiction, could be nonfiction, could be hot off the presses, could be way out of print, or it could be something somewhere in the middle. Today, this one is is out of print, but it's not difficult to find if you know where to look. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to get it. The book is called We Had Them All the Way, and it is a, I'm going to say, a respectful and affectionate uh, tribute to a Pittsburgh Pirates broadcaster named Bob Prince. Now, Bob Prince was the voice of the Pittsburgh Pirates for about 23 or 24 of his 28 years in the radio booth. Um, his is a complex story. Um, Bob Prince was an enormously popular radio and TV voice of the Pittsburgh Pirates enormously popular with the fans, respected by the players, uh, and became pretty iconic in the state of Pennsylvania and surrounding areas that received their radio signal. Some broadcasters are better on the radio than they are on television. Bob Prince strikes me as one of those. I haven't listened to a great deal of Bob Prince's games, but I've listened to about 10 or 15 of them. And um, the way that he describes a game, the way that he talked about a game, really painted the picture. Uh, now, he was a homer, and I know that lots of baseball fans have trouble with homers, especially uh, in today's world where we stress objectivity and sort of the illusion, I think, of unbiased reporting. Uh, Bob Prince was definitely a pirate fan, and he made no bones about it. Uh, having said that, his commentary, his description of the games was really good, and he wasn't uh, afraid to point out things that pirate players did wrong as well as opposing players. So it wasn't biased from that perspective, but this title, We Had Them All the Way, is what Bob Prince would say at the end of a game uh, when the Pirates came from behind to win. Now, the this is part of a series, the All-Star Edition of All-Star Edition of Pittsburgh Proud series. Um, it's written by a man named Jim O'Brien. And what Jim O'Brien, Jim O'Brien knew Bob Prince. Um, the book itself was published in 1998 uh, by Geyer Printing Company. And I will put that in the description for the video. For the, yes, for this video. Uh, what Jim O'Brien did was he interviewed different folks about the life of Bob Prince. And... Wonderful stories. You get a real sense uh, of Bob Prince as a person and as a professional and as a private person as well. Uh, family members are interviewed as well for this book. Now, Bob Prince had a difficult uh, and kind of a bizarre ending to his career after the 1975 baseball season. Uh, I don't want to retell the whole story here, but he was brought back in 85 uh, after he was let go at the end of the 75 season. This book talks about his um, reaction to being let go, and it also talks about uh, the circumstances under which he was brought back 10 years later. Poor health uh, didn't allow him to last more than a few games after he returned, adding another bizarre 
chapter and sad, really, chapter to the story. If you have watched um, the Mark Fidrich game on YouTube, uh, this is something Bob Prince was signed by ABC to be their one of their play-by-play um, -play guys on their national broadcasts for the 76th season after the Pirates let him go after 75. You get a little bit of a sense of what Bob Prince was like if you watch that video, but not really. And I would really encourage you to listen to some games of, that he did on YouTube to really get a sense of him. This is not a balanced book. There isn't one that I'm aware of that tells the whole Bob Prince story. But it's pretty good. And you do get a sense of what the man was like. And he played an enormous role in the baseball fandom of Pittsburgh and the state of Pennsylvania um, throughout almost 30 years of broadcasting. He touched a lot of people's lives, and you really, to understand Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh fans is to understand Bob Prince. And I think that I enjoyed this book because I got that glimpse um, of him. The definitive book about Bob Prince and sort of the behind-the-scenes machinations, and I'm not saying Bob Prince was entirely a victim, but the behind-the-scenes machinations that led to his dismissal after the 75 season is really a, a bizarre and sad chapter, a sad ending to a very triumphant career in broadcasting and in baseball. Um, and this book is worth reading. Uh, very, I think very much so. I enjoyed it a great deal. 1998 publication date. It's out of print, but very accessible through um, used booksellers online, and it may even be available in your local bookstore. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. This isn't a new book, and it's not a new story, but it's a good story, and it's a baseball story, and you really get a sense of someone who is important in 20th century baseball. Thank you for being with me. I will be back next week with another baseball book review. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I give regular Twitter updates as well on what I'm doing and what's coming up next. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful Monday. So long, everybody.